Welcome everybody to Drago Gaming Let's Play Series Episode 2. We are diving into Timberborn, a new early access game. Last game we uh, had a little famine, but hopefully this time we can bring it on back. That being said, let's uh, get into it. Um, I noticed one thing is we're a little bit low on water. If you look at here, they don't really have any. And then look at that. The beaver that was controlling our water is gone. So one thing we'll have to do before we even start is definitely get that beaver in there. One thing we're going to focus on today is trying to get our population as high as we can. We have a pretty good uh, chunk of settlement right here. And uh, I don't see why we can't get it nice and filled in. And you see the beaver sometimes. I just kicked him out of there. He moved to here. Hopefully he moves over here. And it's not looking like... There we go. We got someone moved. It took long enough. One thing we're going to want to do is now that they cut some of these trees down is to replant them. And this was maple, so if we come over here, let's plant crop, well, nope, no plant trees. We can get our maples. Fill this little spot in. And we can put a pine right there. And that looks better. Fill this little spot in and that little spot. In. Another thing is you gotta watch out for is notice how my green stops right before we gotta be able to cut everything and they just they don't cut unless they're told to cut that so you always gotta be careful with it looks like he's getting our water supply nice and back to where it should be these beavers right here and they're just about done the dam you got four to do don't think they're gonna make it in a half a day. And look at that water. It is just gushing past. I do like how realistic it is. The closer you get to it, the more the water tries to flow around. But looks like we got our water source pretty good, just in time for the drought. We got food looking not too bad as well. We got lots of berries, 150. Um, don't know about carrots or potatoes, but oh, 10 potatoes and apparently no carrots. And I think this place is full of potatoes. So that being said, we need to get this little potato maker built. The only way to get it built is to get a research, but we need more population for that. But we shall wait. And the drought has begun. Notice how it dried up. Since we already have most of the dam completed, it will slow down, but all the water, like that, boom will disappear and now all of our food isn't looking so good and everything is gone well considering the droughts already hit might as well at least get our campfire get our guys a little bit more happier water levels still look good food levels still looking good and I know once you get into this and you start getting high populations, you really, really need to focus on food and water because it will drop quickly. When you got three, four hundred people eating your food and uh, something happens, the food supply stops, anything, it, it just dwindles so quickly. Now this stuff dies in one day, one and a half days, so they're definitely not going to make the drought. 
we're gonna have to keep this dam so that way the water keeps all this alive even through the droughts but we're at six adults now hopefully they make lots and lots and lots of babies well just made one right there age zero and I don't know what age they're considered adults because that's seven year old right there yep he's an adult somewhere around seven they start becoming adults and he's starting to give me some research that is good that way I can research the pylon or the platform right here to be able to allow my staircase to go all the way up top. I also need some population to be able to get my lumber mill working again. And once the lumber mill is working, uh, we can start producing planks, which is needed for all these steps. You can see we got quite a bit ready to be built, just not quite there. Even the roof, just not there. Once you start getting higher populations, stuff starts getting a lot more crazier. You're just constantly going from one side to the next, to the back, to the next. Low population, it's a little slow. It gives you time to breathe. But we need two for the district, two for the farm. Oh, we don't have anybody in the farmhouse? Nope. One for the tree forest, one gatherer, one inventor, two lumberjacks, one lumber mill, and that would be it. Looks like the drought's just about done. I'll bring a little bit of life back. If you notice our water level, whew, it's only at 20. It's, it wasn't looking so good. So someone just died right here. He died literally two days ago from old age. Knowing our luck, we're over here trying to build a population and we got them dying from old age. This little campfire here, once it's built and then uh, doing good, we can uh, we can have the life expectancy increase by 25%. And there it is right there. And look, it holds five beavers at a time. That being said, this, yep, just went up to five. So we need some more carrots for them to eat and we need more campfire. I do not know where my beavers are working. I have no clue. But the dam has been built. As you can see, water still flowing through it. However, when a drought comes, it will hold all that water back from disappearing. do not need inventors as much as we need wood to be uh, planted, grown, and tended to. We could definitely get a few more maples. I believe these are chestnuts, yep. Good thing is about chestnuts is the gatherers can actually gather. And be used for food. I believe it's a recipe. Chestnut right there. All you need is chestnut, log, and you get grilled chestnuts. Awesome. Water source is still a little bit low, but I think it should be fine for population of eight. 
we can get more and more water water pumps going once we have a better population well I did notice that dam being built right there is kind of hurt the mal horsepower that this is creating now the water is flowing a little bit different still creating horsepower but not as much But we'll watch our food because we have nobody there, nobody there, and only one guy working there. But one guy can, you can do quite a bit. You can get this field here and this field. That's about all he can do. And if you notice, I have a guy working here. I have a tree right there, but he's not cutting. That's because he was never told to. You always got to tell them how to cut, when to cut, everything about cut. Or they will not do it. I would leave these two trees right here, these few trees. And from there, I do not need him. I'll let them grow up. He would happily be used here, which I guess he has other plans. I don't know what his plans are, but he has better plans. Nice thing is, is they end up making this storage right here so now we can hold a lot more resources we have a campfire which helps bring up their life expectancy and all good things oh you want over here for lumber jacking ah no i'd rather you be planting me food Yes, much rather food, rather have you guys go up in population, population 9, kind of still struggling. Getting a few technology points. We probably, yep, can unlock platforms. So now we can put a platform here, a staircase, and take that around. And we are in business. The only thing that we don't have is a road going to these places. You might notice we have four spots right here, wide open, not doing a single thing. That is where these few little items come in. Like the shrub, which is only 20 tech, still have enough for. We'll put a shrub there, shrub there, and by placing it where this orange highlighter is, highlight area, Anything that walks by it, which as you see, they have to go in their house, these three houses right here, they end up getting a bonus. So if we go to decorations, unlock the shrub, boom, they can get the bonus. Might not seem like a lot, but I mean, every little bit helps. And it also gets rid of the empty void that otherwise nothing else was going to go. And it looks like it only takes a few logs, that's fine. They have 60 in stockpile, 80 water, 189 food, everything is going good. Trees are growing. And I noticed that these trees take a little bit longer, but they do produce more. And by having offset, for instance, this tree right here, the pine grows as fast. And so it's not the fastest, birch is fastest, but it grows fast and gives you two logs. This one grows a little slower, but gets you four. And the last one gets you eight, but takes the longest. 
Yeah, so the bird or the pine takes 12 days, gives you two logs. Maple gives you eight logs, but takes 30 days, which is this up here. And this chestnut not only gives you food, but gives you four logs, and it's 24 days. And it looks like they're building these shrubs. That means my shrubbery should be going up out of nine population. Only three people know what a carrot is. Everybody knows what a campfire is, and more than half know about the shrub. The one shrub that has been built. Hopefully, we can get more people knowing about shrubs. Another thing we can do is probably unpause most of these jobs so that way they can get filled in as quickly as possible. As soon as one of our babies grow up, it'd be nice that they can automatically have a job to go to. Another good thing to research, we'll probably research next, is the shrine. It gives them spiritual. So we look under here, we should be able to see shrine. Spiritual right there, shrine. And I'm not too sure yet about the bonus, but we shall look at it. Bieber, statue, roof, knowledge, spiritual, the shrine allows them to work faster, which is great. That's exactly what we need. Looks like our population just went up one more. We have one more adult and one more kid. I think we can go 3, 6, 79, tell them 12, 30, 40, 15, 60, 70, 18, 19, 20, 21 population based off of how we built this little housing. The, the shrubs are definitely coming along. Looks like everybody knows what the shrub is. They need to get a little bit better on the carrots. I would like to demolish this whole area and build nothing but carrots. I think we should be good with plants and all so we can do that. Delete resource. That should get rid of all of that. Don't think I left the bush behind. You can also get rid of you. Plant a potato right there. And just wait a little bit for the uh, carrots. As you can see, this building right here can get all but this very little small tip. So, when we go to do it, we gotta make sure that that little baby tip is just left out like that. There's no point in having. Another resource we can get rid of would be these bushes here, since we are no longer messing with berries. Hopefully, we can have somebody working on planks soon. And that will help speed that up. There we go, he's now working on planks. They can get the wood going a little better for planks and that will allow us to get access to this top. With the stairs. Population slowly going up. We got 11 right now. These are slowly getting faded out for carrots because that gives us a buff where berries does not give us a buff whatsoever.
Hopefully these guys here can, uh, yeah, look at that, 35 out of 40, so they're definitely getting some carries. They should bring their happiness up, yup, we're at 7. To unlock and reach the average well-being of 11 while playing folktale. We can get the iron teeth from that. Now it's just a whole different setup, the way they build stuff, the way they do everything. I mean, it should be exciting to see how it it is. Probably has its own challenges and difficulties and everything like that. Don't think any of that will grow because it's in a dry area. Dry area is definitely not good for growth. They fill them up with carrots and their little TP. And uh, looks like the problem we might be having is getting resources where we need them. This person doesn't even have the windmill for power. But we have 13 population, four of them which are kids. I know one thing we can do is put a little power wheel. And it should give them enough power that way you can make planks and get this built. And I think that's what we're gonna have to do. So that way we can get this a little bit further out there. Kinda like so. Just a little bit more power. So this would be something temporary. don't like to use my beavers to uh, generate me electricity that I know I can get for free. And it takes a lot of wood. So one thing we're going to want to research, I think is right here late, is distribution. No, hauling post. That's definitely not, we don't even have to research it. That's something we definitely want to get built. Now, that being said, what is the smartest way to build this? allow for our trees to develop still put that there put a road just like so and then we should be able to have a gatherer oh I don't know kind of want my gatherer to be able to hit all that so I don't think the gatherer being there would be smart no, nope, but we can always have a bush or something go in that place. Drought in one and a half days, but we'll have this hamster wheel still produce less planes. That is the good thing about having manpower, is that it always produces. Verse free, it may not. don't understand how building this creates difference in water but it has 
Looks like now he's no longer reliable to pull anything from there. Besides regular water, which if you notice, they're hovering at 80. I don't think it is because a worker is being lazy. See, he's always maxed. It's more of a capacity, it looks like. Hopefully this hauling post will give us a little bit of a boost. It says worker bonus strength plus 100%. Oh, and there goes the wheel. So now he is producing us planks, which then will get this built immediately. As soon as that gets built, we'll be in good shape to be able to build aqua. A little place for food. Also open up our area up here for our Chef Boy D to grow some potatoes. And even have this for more storage. Oh, and look at that now. The wheel is giving us a little bit of power. That's fun. There goes that. And these people now have a clear path. Which if they don't, I can happily give them like that. I'm also going to unlock this, the Aqua Hut. I think the best place to put Aqua Hut actually be right around here. So in this area. I can't put it in the water. I think I'm going to need steps to be built because with that having steps there you can see it gets all the way to here so what we'll have to do is put that there put a step going down and prioritize it a little bit more than anything else being built prioritize that the most because we definitely need a hard post we also definitely need a new water wheel, but it's no big. So we can actually probably bring that down a little bit. The water supply looking pretty good at 100. Food is at 12. Just like that, our food supply has disappeared. Luckily this guy right here is going to be collecting all this food. And if you notice, we got a drought, but we still have water here. Even though the drought has affected both sides, our dam is successfully holding back water. And it will hold all the water until the level changes. So if I want to hold the water back on this level, I'd have to dam it right here. And so on and so forth. And look at that, we can remove this barrier up here, produce more water, and this little area, bring all this back to life. I want to hold water back on this level, I put a dam here. I want to hold water back here, I put a dam right here before it falls. And the same here. One interesting thing you can do is use dynamite and blow a straight line up to here. From there, you'd have water. Now notice there's underground ruins. It's Looks like it gives us scrap metal just like these towers, however, these towers have only a limited amount. It might not be a limited amount on the underground ruins. Don't see any ruin nearby. So we might have to travel a little bit to get to it. Looking at that food. Ooh, there's nothing. Luckily everything's, you know, growing nice and fine. That's all at 90% almost, 80s. This is, this has a little bit of food and my, my guy can collect it. They got the hauling post opened. So, once we have somebody available, they can go on over and uh, get rid of this. Nobody's cutting trees, but they can go on over and uh, start hauling for us. 
So even though we have the water back, we can still run out of water if this water pump sucks it dry. Like I said, water pump, this guy is doing awesome. He's always full. These things are always full. So we have a pretty good ratio there. Population slowly climbing up to 15 now. So we're slowly becoming a, a very small town. And then we can do is keep on planting us some carrots. Also like to demolish these few resources. Might end up having to cut this to make a road so that way my people can reach that. So what we'll do is stop building this. Oh. We'll stop building this a little bit. And this a little bit. And then my road should be able to catch all these people. Or maybe my people are just busy. Couldn't tell you. But we're going to ramp it up and hopefully see if it disappears or not. People are pretty happy. Got seven things or 15 out of 15 on the little bit we have done. Um, let's look into roofing. Leisure. Decoration now, yeah, roofing. That is something we'd like to unlock. Rotate it and boom. Now anytime somebody goes to storage, they're happy to have a roof over their head. I hope that they can reach it to be able to build it. That wraps it up for uh, today's series and I hope you all enjoy. Hit that like, subscribe, and uh, see you next time.